my gosh, it is finally time to cover this book again. So many of you guys over the last couple of years have been uh, commenting on my old DC Super Pets, a terrible quality video I may add, saying we would love for you to do a more detailed review on the character encyclopedia. And I agree with you because this book is flipping amazing. And I want to apologize for everybody that I've been kind of putting this on hold. There's literally been no explanation why I couldn't review this. I just thought since I review like the other books, you know, it'd be fine. But literally all I did, and I can literally make fun of myself, and like literally I agree with everybody in the comments section, because I just like to make fun of myself, but literally all I did was this. That's all I did. I mean, in a further, more detailed thing, I went like, you know, I didn't go much into it. Um, so it, I thought it was finally time to do a thorough review. And this is the paperback version. They also made a hardcover version, but I don't have it. Why would I have two copies? That's weird. So yeah, we're finally back again, and I'm gonna deliver to you guys. So, here we go. So, I got this book about two years ago. It was kind of fairly new when I got it, and it's a little worn, I don't know, worn out now. But it's still a really exciting book. Without further ado, let's get into it. I really like this cover because it has like a lot of the humans and their pets in it. And it's covered like almost up to the final novel, which is like the Amazing Super Pups or something. They are not included in this book. I do actually have that book now. Uh, I did not grab it today because I didn't want to take away from this book review, but perhaps if you guys want to, I don't know, want me to review that in the future, perhaps I will, but it just doesn't seem like it's a good enough review because it's not really that exciting. So, let's just get into it. And how this book is set up, it's, it explains like all the characters from all the different chapter books that um, DC Super Pet series has released. So as you can see, there's a lot of pets in here. You're divi or divided into the good pets and the bad pets. And we'll get into the bad pets in like, I don't know, they're purple, good pets, blue. Kind of common knowledge. There's the forward, probably just saying thank you to whoever has been supporting the um, chapter series. I'm pretty sure I didn't bother to read it. And I really like this book because it gives such good detail on the little bios on the corner here of the book and it gives descriptions too of what their powers are so with crypto obviously he has like the same powers as superman but you know he's just a dog version and here's like his family so there's zipto nipto and vipto i could be pronouncing that wrong please excuse me and there's just kind of like you know I don't know, I think he's kind of gotten like almost all their powers, but his, uh, I don't know, his great-grandfather, or, let's see what this says, oh, camera, come on. Oh, that's Crypto's father, never mind, so I guess that's Crypto's father, maybe, grandfather, great-grandfather, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna go through here a little quicker. You got the K9 Patrol Agency. And you also have like all the Superman team. Uh, but like some of the dogs that work with Crypto when he's in disguise. So in this part of the book is just all Superman pets. Or on the Superman team. And then you get to the Bat Family. As you can see, like, the minor characters obviously don't have a very good bio, but I mean, they do share, like, some insights of their powers, like, when we get to here, they have more detail in it. But I love this book, because literally, it's so cute. It's probably, like, one of my favorite items that I own. Like, if you just simply just want, like, super pet bios, and you didn't want to read the series, this would pretty much just give you all the information that you could want. If you're a big, like, super pets fan that I am. Or, you know, DC fan in general. I like the cartoony style, too, because it just, like, seems like a good old cartoon on, like, Saturdays or something like that. And I really thought that they would make, like, a TV series about this, but they never did, but I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense. 
And some of the old, um, if you ever watch Crypto the Superdog, they have, like, some of the villains and characters, too, that showed up in there. They don't have, like, a whole bunch, but, you know, there's some cameos if you can find them. There's just some, like, superheroes in here that I've never heard of before. Like, what is this? The Amazing Zoo Crew. Like, I've never heard of them. This is another cool part, too. Kind of shows, like, how big all of them are. And here's a little bit of a brief history of some of the super pets. Mostly Crypto and Ace kind of show up in these, and then you have, like, some of the Wonder Woman, um, Jumpa, I think that's her name, showed up in that issue. And we get to the villains. This is another cool part, because I like the whole style and how they kind of changed the tone of it, and how they kind of went from, like, purple, and then they go from, like, different, like, things to different backgrounds. It's just cool. I like that. I don't know why the Joker fish has like such a little, um, such a little bio, but I find that super hilarious. I don't know how a little fish like that could do so much damage, but I guess that he's like... But I think hyenas are more fitting for the Joker. It just makes sense. I'm gonna have to switch my hand here because I can't really hold it because it's getting too thin. So yeah. There's not really much else to say for this book review, because literally, this is just it. It's a guidebook to the entire encyclopedia. So yeah. 10 out of 10, would definitely get it. I really like this Razor. He is the Deathstroke. I've never- I don't know what comic- I don't know, this is like such a terrible thing that I'm doing right now, because literally, I love DC. But I don't know where any of these characters come from. That's so sad. Like, how can I even call myself a fan? Oh well. I guess you don't have to know everything to be a fan. A lot of pets if you think about it. Oh my goodness. And here's the entire list of all of the books that came out. As I don't even have, like, close to all of them. And I don't even think... Because it's super hard because, like, literally... They came out with, like, these three or four big um, comic things of the origins of the pets. I have Crypto and Ace, which I could probably like review pretty soon here too, but literally it's the same style as this thing, but I thought they stopped like producing these, and someone told me that they are no longer going to be selling them, and they're being discontinued, and I'm like, well how are they being discontinued? Like. Or is it just a series that no one's buying? And then they released like four like standalone adventures of like Crypto, A Streaky, and like Jump. I don't even know to be honest with you. But that's kind of it. And the real, I don't know, the retail price for this. Oh my goodness, phone. Is about $7.95 in the US and about $8.95 in Canada. Um, I'm not sure if you can find this in your local store because it's been out for uh, quite a few years. So I definitely think you could pick it up on Amazon for, you know, for a cheaper price. I would just look around or you could just order it from your local bookstore if they do like a kiosk thing, like how mine does it. But you're going to have to look into that on your own time. But if you can definitely get a hand on this book, it's a great um, collection item. And it really makes up for like, if you just really just want the characters, I definitely would recommend it. But I found this out after I got, like, a couple of my chapter books that I picked up. But literally, it's a great investment. <laughs> it sounds like I'm trying to tell you to buy this. But literally, buy it if you're, like, interested in it. So, yeah. After, like, almost two years of, like, ignoring everybody, here you go. I hope you guys are happy. I'm so sorry if I haven't been on YouTube recently. Oh, it's just, I've been going through so much crap right now in my life. I've been trying to, like, upgrade my courses at my school because I want to get into post-secondary. And I'm having some issues right now with another problem that I won't mention, but it's just a whole bunch of, like, crap going on. It seems like when something else is resolved, something else just comes out of the blue and I have just constant heckling all over the place. But I guess that's just a common life for a young adult. 
Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate that you guys keep on supporting me. We're almost at 170 subscribers, and we're, like, getting, like, a lot of views on our a lot of the new videos that have been coming out. So I want to say thank you so much everybody who's been supporting me. I hope that we can continue to grow as a community and I'll be trying to post more videos pretty soon. So I hope everybody has a great rest of the week and I will see you guys in the next book review.